Greetings, my name is Stephanie Elizalde, and I am honored to serve as the superintendent of Austin Independent School District here in Austin, Texas. This year has certainly been challenging, whether it's the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, incidents of racial injustice, the most recent winter storms, or ongoing gun violence, our community has persevered through stressful times. The collective trauma of the past year has elevated the importance of the work we have done in Austin to implement social and emotional learning in our schools. Because we believe that a student's social, emotional, and mental health is the foundation for academic learning. We have continued to deepen our work in this area by intentionally integrating strategies based on neuroscience and child development in our practices. Thanks to support from community partners, we have been fortunate to work with Dr. Bruce Perry closely over the last three years to pilot the Neurosequential Model for Education, or NME, in our district. This work is making positive impacts on our students, staff, and families, and we know it is even more necessary this year. The reality is it will take all of us, schools, community, organizations, businesses, government, to truly form a community of healing for our children. To quote Aristotle, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Thank you to our amazing students and talented teachers and staff who have persevered during a challenging year. Let's hear from some of them now. Understanding where behaviors come from and why, and really the importance of relationship is what drives our culture and climate of the school. The way we talk to students, the way we talk to each other, to families, it just drives everything we do here. This year, more than ever, we've worked on building those relationships. As they're walking in the door, upon seeing them for the first time, it's making sure that you, you are showing you're excited and happy and just welcoming. Can't see their smiles, but you can see their eyes, right? Like they're, they're lit up, but the joy is still there, which has been really great. The district has always pushed for uh, innovative ways to address mental health. When you walk into a classroom, you feel the kind of community, kind of home kind of feel, so you know that we're building the relationships. My kids have learned to understand what their brain is doing. No, we've actually gone hands-on and, and understand each other, and you can see it in the relationships that have been fostered around our campus. Even during difficult moments, we all come together for each other and, and for the community as a whole. I feel comfortable when, um, when I'm in the class. I use my toolkit to help me calm down and I always take deep breaths. If I'm having a hard time, and I'm super frustrated. I think about my mom, my great grandma. They help me remind me to not be scared or frustrated. Estas clases me han ayudado bastante para mi hijo y para mí como mamá, porque me enseñaron a ser a saber el funcionamiento del cerebro del niño, para involucrarme en su vida del niño, para para estar más involucrada en su salud mental, porque es una de las, de las cosas que es más como problema. I've actually worked on breathing strategies at home with my own children. I really believe it can work across all settings. They're not just for school. They are, they are skills that a student can use the rest of their life. It's, it's really made a huge, huge impact on our campus. Like I tell my kids, hopefully one day when you all are parents, you're gonna remember this classroom. You're gonna remember enemy, our brain, and, and you know how simple, how simple of an explanation it is, but how beneficial it can impact a person. And so it's really cool to see all these kids, like this whole generation that's gonna be raised with a new understanding of themselves and others. And ideally it's gonna impact, you know, in big ways. And we always say that, that what we wanna do 
is get our students set up not just for success this year or next year. It's exactly what we're doing by teaching these strategies is we're helping set up students for success in life.